Greetings, gentle viewers. And howdy, howdy. There's another Calvardian agent still loose. It's just some kid, and we gotta get all these important people to go catch him. Uh huh. And all this comes from Lecter, uh -huh. who, who wants to keep it on the down low, right. away from all the other agencies. Yeah, I believe him. I believe him. Speaking of believing Lecter, we're the bittersweet gamers. I kind of object to that, but I am the opinionator. And I am We Squared. And I know, I know, I was all like, it's a trap! Last episode. I still... No, no, I don't no. Know. I, I don't know. It might be, it might not be. Well, here's the thing. It's probably a trap. My original idea was just like, look at all these other important people that could that the Empire could benefit from removing, but then you pointed out that, no, that doesn't actually make sense at all. Yeah, I don't think that does make any sense at all. Incidentally, we're running with the double red hand, double blondie team, <laughs> also known as the Trails in the Sky, the third team. Look, we have to use Lecter. We're never going to see him again. Sorry, everybody else we wanted to use, but, you know, life goes on. You can't get rid of all these people all at once. But what if they're just here to witness something terrible happening to Reen so Lecter can be like, I didn't know what was going to happen. It's that it was out of my hands. Well, I don't think there's actually any particular significance to these other people being here. I think the only person who needs to be here is Reen. But as for what's going to happen, something very important could happen to Reen. Or, you know, maybe Lecter isn't messing with us this time. It's just right after the summer festival with all of those scenes where everyone's kind of like big touching moment almost like we're kind of saying goodbye for this game and then Reen gets pulled into this and I'm just really worried for Reen. It does seem like something bad's gonna happen to Reen but we keep seeing Lecter like put his life on the line. We have the advantage. He's never actually really lied to anybody is the thing. I'm not saying I trust him or that he's trustworthy. I think Lecter could very easily be a Roboros, as I've already explained through mm -hmm. the door in the room and that done eh, way that he talks. Uh -huh. But he could be with the Black Workshop. He could be with a different organization. Uh, he could, in <laughs> fact, totally be with the good guys the entire time, like quite legitimately. Uh -huh. Or he could be the main villain of the series. I, I have no idea, but Lecter's never lied when it comes to something... Or let me try that again. He's going in here himself. He's fought for stuff in the past that you, he didn't have to do. Like in Crossbell, he actually does go out and help the SSS fight. Not in terms of being a party member, but... But like when the attack on Orcus Tower happened, he got out there with his saber and fought. Yeah, and fought for real. So I wouldn't be surprised if it's something like that. The point is... We're extremely suspicious, <laughs> but we have literally no idea what's going to happen because how can you possibly predict Lecter's actions? How about a little fire? Scarecrow. You had some bad luck facing us. You know, from the Wizard of Oz, when the Wicked Witch of the West was like, how about a little fire, Scarecrow? Oh, very nice. <laughs> Leave it to Billy. First, he quotes Leave it to Beaver in the last episode, and now he quotes a 70-year-old movie. No, I'm joking, but he still <laughs> did those things. <laughs> a guilty as charged? Look at that delay. Delay four. Is this your card? And a fine card it is. And a fine card it is. Oh, I'm up. Who knows what the heck it's going to do, but it's, it's going to do something, I guess. <laughs> okay, what's gonna happen next? Is this your card? And chaos rules the battlefield. And a fine card it is. I'm going. Huh. I mean, good luck to get it to do anything that you want it to do, but cool. <laughs> I can confirm the presence of mana. Go left here. Woo! Just how lucky am I to be in the presence of such talented boys and girls? Uh -huh. Oh, shut up. <laughs> <laughs> Let him have his fun this time. Huh. And, and now there's blue Playroma grass suddenly popping up. Why is there blue Playroma grass? Green, is that? Yeah, looks like it. What on earth? Like an invasion or something? Play Roma Grass? 
but this time it's blue. The same color of grass that appeared in Crossbell two years ago. The agent is nowhere to be seen. Of course, here comes some monster or other. Wait, an archaism? That's like... It was like some old abandoned archaism and we fought it in the geo front. It, it was abandoned years ago. Right, but what's an archaism doing coming out of Playroma Grass? That's messed up. What the heck can't come out of this? And is there any difference? Would you call this a cryptid? What is, we don't know. <laughs> we need to find terms. Ah, uh, just like I thought. Just like you thought? <laughs> what's that supposed to mean? Talk later. Let's finish this thing first. Orbital Gear, stand by. I'm ready to fight. Don't let your guard down. <laughs> Why not? Ow, but who cares? <laughs> Do this. Is this your card? And a fine card it is. Hey, thanks for the art up. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Burn. Fool's red. Gotta get those high hit points for regalia. Oh, thank you. Thank you. Here I come. Ah! Ah! Oh, nice. It's down. There. Hey, it's one sixty to fire. <laughs> Not normally what you do with agate, but... Yeah. Why not? Gleam! Southern Cross! I think it's gonna die before I break it. <laughs> <laughs> well, sometimes that's how it goes. Here's a pick-me-up. <laughs> Look Thank at you. this! <laughs> Leave it to me. <laughs> May you rest in peace. Fire! I'm going! Look, you broke him before you killed him! I, I did do that on purpose, to be fair. <laughs> <laughs> My chance! There! Ha <laughs> ha! You doing okay, Tita? <laughs> I'm just fine, Agate. <laughs> Not quite what I was expecting, but I love how she put her orbital cannon up. Yeah! Right, well, nobody actually thought that was going to get in our way or anything. Whew, we did it! We need to do something about this grass or another monster like that might appear. Uh, was that a monster, though? <laughs> nah, no need. What do you mean, no need to get rid of the grass, Lecter? <gasps> huh? Huh. Whoa! The spirit reaction has vanished from this area. But why? That doesn't match up with what the folks from Crossbell told us. Gonna, gonna give us some answers, Lecter? I take it you have some information we don't? Eh, I wouldn't call it that. It's more of a gut feeling. Pardon me? Vector, don't confuse them like that. Let's just say he has very good intuition. He's not joking around or trying to mislead you at the moment, <laughs> anyway. <laughs> That's what I said. He doesn't actually mislead you when he asks you for stuff or does stuff for you so far. But all he has to do is just do that until he needs to mislead you, and it will work 100% for that one time. Unless, of course, he's actually been <laughs> one of the good guys, whatever that means, the whole right. time. For all I know, he's teamed up with Rufus, and they're going to be the final villain duo. <laughs> no fooling? So is that the special talent of yours that got the Chancellor's attention? Haha, <laughs> who knows? But right now, my gut's telling me the bluegrass around here is just leftover residue from yesterday. Since the source of it all disappeared, it turned back to its normal color and spiritually connected with that old wreckage. But since all the mana is gone, once we defeated that thing, 
the grass shriveled up and died with it. Uh, okay, that makes sense. Uh, but that's just a guess, you know? Wow. It may be nothing more than speculation, but it sounds so convincing. It really does. By design. Well, this is interesting. So, what we've seen so far about the Iron Bloods is that every one of them is somebody that, even if we discount some of the other stuff about Osborne, like emotionally manipulating them or whatever, mm -hmm. Milliam's a homunculus. Rufus's superpower, so to speak, is that uh, he's an extremely talented, extremely charismatic plotter mm -hmm. who has balls of steel. <laughs> he never, he's gutsy enough to do anything. He sent that group of Jaegers against Osborne Kind of leaving a trail back to him. Yeah, and he did it kind of just for the heck of it to see what's going to happen. Right. Claire has that type of super reasoning that you get from trauma, and Lecter has this intuition that just cuts through everything and sees through matters perfectly. You can really see that in his door in Sky Third. Mm -hmm. He may act kind of silly, but he's clearly extremely aware of everything that matters. That, that's interesting. I'm wondering how, how relevant this is going to be. It may not be. Of course, we know nothing about Lecter and can't trust him as far as we can throw him, and we can probably throw him pretty far, though. <laughs> he looks pretty strong, yeah. But also... With regards to the Pleromagrass summoning monsters, Professor Schmidt said something pretty interesting. A connection between the Orbal Network and Pleromagrass. Right. There's no way that that was just a throwaway line that meant nothing. Right. We've kind of joked, not in the videos, but we've joked, what, are you saying that cryptids are Digimon? Maybe they are. Maybe the network is bigger and not what we think it is. And so for some reason, the Pleromagrass spiritually connects to it and pulls monsters. Now, where those monsters come from, if it's sort of like the spirit veins connecting one dimension to another. Arrgh. But since the mana here is gone, the Pleromagrass linked to an extant creature and pulled it here. It was clearly needing to link up with something and searching for something to link up with, but it's like there wasn't enough mana for it to pull something from elsewhere. Right. Remember when we found Campanella, he was like, let's try and pull one of these here. And then after you beat one, he was like, let's see if I can pull another one. Yeah, yeah. Okay, meaning that it's not like he can guarantee success or something like that. The, the grass itself is trying to pull something. Trying to connect. Yeah, trying to connect to some other place. And something does seem to come when it connects. So I'm betting the next two patches are also going to pull archaisms. Think about it. Archaisms have a kind of rudimentary AI. Right. What if they're connected to the orbital network and that's how they work the way they do? Ah. Uh... Comparisons with Xenosaga for anybody who has played Xenosaga. <laughs> they abound. Oh, they abound. As for why the grass is blue, the only place we saw red Pleroma grass was here in the capital, right? Yes. When we saw it elsewhere, it was always blue. Yes. So it seems like the red Pleroma grass was just Pleroma grass, which is naturally blue that was being corrupted with a dark miasma from Zoro Agriga. Right, and that's why it pulled fiends. But since Zoro Agriga is, uh, his presence is gone, the grass that was still here was just reverted to being blue. Yeah, yeah. That's what we think, like Lecter said. It's just a guess, you know? Nothing more than speculation, but it seems convincing. <laughs> yeah, I'm sure he's actually right on the money. I've always thought there was something about Lecter. <laughs> Maybe what he has is like my ability to sense people? No, his intuition is on a completely different level. My, my. I suppose this is the reason you were able to successfully navigate all those tense negotiations, Scarecrow. But are you sure it's okay we know your little trick now? What does it matter? You can't do anything to it. Yeah. You can't do anything against it. <laughs> It's not like I've been hiding it or anything. Besides, we're all on the same team today, right? What do you mean, today? <laughs> anyway, the fact that this blue grass is here must mean something. Probably has to do with our runaway agent. Let's check the next spot. 
If it does have something to do with the runaway agent, that will also tell us something important about the nature of Pleromagrass. Mm -hmm. If the Ramda causes spatial manipulation Ooh. on some sort of bizarre level, it could actually be interacting with the spirit veins or mana in some unintentional way. Ugh. It could have nothing to do with it at all. We, we're just gonna have to see. You got it. Guess we're following that gut of yours today. <laughs> Let's hurry. The next reaction was detected in the first half of the next area. <laughs> it's down! It's mine! <laughs> Very well done. Well, what do you say we move on? I was expecting there to be a lot more hostility here. <laughs> well, they're not really facing each other. Hmm? Something wrong, Lecter? Oh no, nothing. Something did catch my attention, but I'll leave it be for now. Aha! Uh -huh. Oi! Oh, over there! As expected. Mana potency increasing. Take care. Well, let's see what pops out of this one. I'm very curious. There! No sign of the missing agent. Yeah, but something tells me... Eh. And this one is a monster. Hmm. But it was a wanted monster, yeah. It's not a cryptid. Okay, okay, I and still think it counts then. No, absolutely it does. Because like, it's monsters... pulling a regular monster from somewhere instead of a cryptid from another dimension. Right, monsters and trails are part of the ecosystem. Cryptids are not from this world. Fiends are not from this world. That's why they have the de designations that they have. Right, but a released archaism from a couple of years ago, you know, during the Civil War, mm -hmm. at, the, at the very end, and just some big scary monster, those are very likely to be here. <laughs> Another wanted monster come to crash the party. We shall dispatch it with elegance. Look out! That one's strong! An extreme prejudice. Screw you, monster. Screw you. This party would be too powerful if you could equip its quartz. <laughs> yes. ah! Ah! Well done! Well done! Why not? You're toast! I have a guard for a turn! <laughs> the game was just favoring the monster this time, Damon. That's all there was to it. <laughs> but I couldn't have favored it that much. I'm about to break it! <laughs> this is... okay. How about... a little fire! Dude, he might have killed me! Yes! <laughs> anyway, now that that's over with... That's the fight, but... <laughs> it wanted the monster to have one turn of coolness. Glee! Southern Cross! No, I won't be able to finish it, unfortunately. Here I come! Vroom vroom! Ah! It's down! Oh, I delayed it! Burn! Fool's red! See? See? His brave order has fool in the name. That's further proof he's the Scarecrow from Wizard of Oz. <laughs> it's not easy knowing nothing. Your head all full of stuff and my heart all full of pain. Doo -doo 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 -doo. I'd be friends with the sparrows and the boy who shoots the arrows if I only had a brain. I've got to entertain myself somehow because this fight's almost over. The monster demonstrated that it could have actually killed me and then I had a guard break turn. <laughs> I mean, that's the fight. A little fire! It's down! Oh. I'll see to this. Far too slow. He's almost got a turn. He almost has a turn. Finish him. <laughs> Sorry, you just picked the wrong fight. Basically. Get out of here, now. Any thoughts, anybody? Were we right on the money or were we wrong? Like, the function of that grass is to reach out to things. And pull them towards it like a beacon? Yeah. Huh, we did it. <laughs> it was quite the foe, but with all of you here with me, I had nothing to worry about. In fact, I didn't even participate in the fight. 
Since when would anything down here worry someone like you? <laughs> but seriously, looking at us all, this certainly is one heck of a monstrous group. Two A-rank bracers, the direct subordinate of the Imperial Chancellor, His Highness the Prince, Nash and Chevalier, and key members of the RF group, ZCF and the Epstein Foundation. It's kind of nuts, huh? Wow, when you put it like that, it's a little intimidating. Our opponents just aren't on the right caliber here. Ha <laughs> <laughs> ha! We may not encounter another chance to assemble so diverse a group as this. Stop saying stuff like that! You're just making me more paranoid! To be honest, I would really appreciate if you would reconsider this, your highness. <laughs> Doesn't matter what you say to that guy, he's just gonna do whatever he wants. By the way, Hey, Scarecrow, you been in contact with anyone from Genus lately? What? How do you... You don't mean Leo and Lucy, do you? Come on! <laughs> These people have known each other for some time. He's asking about Claudia. Right. You dork. Yeah, we happened to run into each other not too long ago. Don't know any of the details, but they were complaining that they couldn't get a hold of you. Any reason for that? Oh, yeah? Oh, that's right. I hadn't heard you went to an academy in Liberal for some reason. Ah, yes, Genis Royal Academy. It truly is a wonderful school. A friend of mine is studying there now. Ren. Yeah. Oh, I nearly forgot. Um, Lecter? It's been a while since you've spoken with Chloe, too, right? Ah, well... Chloe? Wait, she couldn't mean... the Liberal Kingdom's heir to the throne. She was at the trade conference. They had a small chance to talk then, but they were a little busy. Anyway, time to change the subject. He doesn't like that subject. Last time we talked was when we were both in Crossbell two years ago. Never figured out why she hung out with a good-for-nothing like me. Uh, next time you see her, could you give her a message for me? Tell her I said I probably won't be able to make it to the reunion. Oi! Oh. Lecter. Though the threat of the Calvardian agents may be behind us now, the underlying issue yet remains. There's much work to be done. But for now, let us continue onward, gossiping about Lecter's old girlfriend the whole way. Olivia, are you feeling okay? This is normal. <laughs> yeah, you're right. Agree? Let us press onward. What? What? Right here? But, but in Underground 1, there's still that stinking treasure chest! <laughs> How Don't I... worry, David. I'm sure we'll find some excuse to go over there and get it. How do I get that? Ah, uh, just cut straight to the point, eh? Ah, uh, that two-headed dragon thing. Yep, just a monster. I mean, a scary-looking one, but... This is the third one now. It seems we're getting closer to the target. Only a bit farther now. Let's keep going. Look out! That one's strong! Is it, though? I have a Vanish turn coming up. I don't think that's going to work on the boss, David. Surely not. I'm going to get mad if it does. I just hope it doesn't have the Vanish turn, because then it might kill me. See, Vanish zero. Good. There you go. Good, good. <laughs> oh, good. Why not? Because if it had charged a craft and then immediately launched it on the Vanish <laughs> turn and it hit everybody... Oh, no, it wouldn't have mattered, because all four of us have an Abyss Shadow. Yeah! Whew, okay. No worries. Burn! Fool's red! Fire! I don't really mind if Lecter has low hit points because his default Master Quartz is Chevalier, which increases physical damage as your hit points are low. Hey! <laughs> May as well! Okay. Playtime is over. I love that pose. Ha! Knight of Rubrum! Okay. okay, later. later. That just looks like utilizing data, doesn't it? Yeah! Oh. All right. 
Well, art is achieved via technological devices, after all. It's true. Fire! Here I come! It's down! There! Okay, come again. You chose the wrong opponent. Okay, what's gonna happen next? We can't just be done. Right? We still have to find the agent. Yeah. But that's our three spots where the mono was coming from. Whew, good job, everyone. It seems you've got your Orbital Gear 3 pretty much figured out by this point. <laughs> Thanks, but it's still not quite as impressive as that Eidolon gear you were using before. I beg to differ. <laughs> we're nearly to the end of the path, meaning our erstwhile agent must be in the final area. There you go, Damon. He'll be guarding the last chest. Remember, Randy is blocking the way out from the museum. And Tobel. You said this guy is still in his teens? What's Calvert doing sending a kid behind enemy lines like that? Yeah, I don't really get it either. Apparently he forced his way in, or so they said. What's this kid's story? Do you know? All we know is what the agents we captured have said about him. Uh, that said, it's a pretty bog-standard background story. His father was an officer in the Calvardian army, but he died in the battles over Crossbell last year. I see. Sheesh, what are you guys getting all bummed out over? Claire, you only do logistics. And you, Schwarzer, you held back no matter what Rufus had you do. It's not like you guys killed him yourselves. I largely agree with Lecter on this. It's fine to feel a sense of responsibility. But they shouldn't beat themselves up over it. Not if they really didn't do it. Or, yeah! Or couldn't have. I, I understand what they're why they're conflicted, but... And what were they going to do? Not protect the member, the citizens of the Empire against Calvardian soldiers? Well, the Empire was the aggressor here. Shh. No, but... He's right. Anytime you cut down a ship or destroyed a tank, you made sure the crew inside was unharmed. <laughs> Might seem a little too soft-hearted, but that's how us bracers do things. That's why Tolvel's always going into recruiter mode around him. Even so, I was fighting alongside the Imperial Army and did nothing to stop them. That was the low point of Reen's life. Mm -hmm. And besides, what was he supposed to do? Rebel against Osborne on the battlefield? Right? All that would have happened is he would have been punished. He would have been taken in and captured because it's not like he would have wiped out the Imperial Army. And if he wasn't there, Yuna and her family would have died. That's right. And furthermore, all that would have happened if he had rebelled and gotten captured is he'd be in the exact same position he's in now. He he would not be allowed to have a different position. It doesn't matter what excuse I make. In the end, I'm complicit too. Yes, I feel the same about myself. Poor Oliver. So even if it's a bit hypocritical, I want to see this young agent home safely can use the Bracer Guild's connections to get him back to Calvert. It is true, like we've said plenty of times, I believe Calvert is in the right for doing whatever it was they were doing here. Mm -hmm. Freaking railway cannons, come on! You can't just wipe out a city of 300,000 people or something, or threaten to, and then expect them to not do anything about it. Right? Especially when the tensions between the Empire and Calvert have been running hot for, and, and getting hotter for how long? Ugh. Yeah, me too. I would like nothing more than to assist you. Huh. Looks like it might just be a regular agent after all. But I'm still suspicious. Just because he looks normal doesn't mean that's the case. <sighs> How could this happen? Captain Reagan, Waltz, has everyone been caught? And now everything happening down here is completely insane. Uh, but I need to do this for Dad. I need to avenge him. There he is. Thank goodness. Uh, get back! I 
hope he doesn't, like, turn into a monster or something. Yeah! Hold on! We're with the Bracer Guild! No good. He's in a full-blown panic now. After him! Wait. Everyone, please be careful. If those two are sensing something, it's... Uh. So, in his wake is Playroma Grass? Another one. Why did Playroma Grass suddenly appear? Maybe it really does have to do with the way that their Ramda were. Yeah, that seems to that seems to be what this says, right? And they did kind of play up the spatial distortion when we first ran into him. And if not, then maybe he's just still it's like a residue of being cursed? But why? Possibly? I don't know. I think the residual energy is resonating with his panic. Let's take this thing down quick! With his panic, huh? <laughs> it seems this will be quite the struggle. So this one's that a big ol' abyss worm. So all we gotta do is not hit it until we break it. Okay, fair enough. Damn! Ew! Let's go! Burn! Fool's red! Thank <sighs> you so much! Thanks, thank you. There! Now I'll beat him up. No earthquake for you, kid. Don't hold back! Yeah! Oh, sweet, a zero order. <laughs> How about break damage to 50%? Works for me. Oh, oh, crud. Huh? Next up is a zero CP turn. I'll just cast. Give them hell! Crimson break! Fire! Cool. Here's a pick-me-up. <laughs> Thank you. I'm gonna get ya! It's down! There! <laughs> Moving on. So if we chase him out of here, that should stop that, right? Um, I don't know. Like, I hope he doesn't just start sprouting play Roma grass on the surface. Uh, there's no reason he can't. If him running around is making play Roma grass sprout, it's gonna do it up there. It doesn't have to only happen down here. Mm, he ran down this passage. If only he were heading toward the race course instead. No option now but to go after him. Huh? No. This is more important right now. Come on, guys! What are they noticing? You know, I love and hate that at the same time. It just makes you think, like, what could it be? What could it be? I hate you so much. No, 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 see, 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 see. We're gonna chase him there, and that's going to open up into a hidden passage to the rest of it. You'll yeah. get your chest, David, it's okay. <laughs> you understand, that's the only thing I care about. <laughs> I want to find out what's going on with evil Hugo Kleist, and I want to get the treasure chest in the underground. It's gonna be like 3U material. I don't care! I don't care what it is! They turned the corner. They aren't using the Ramda's camouflage effect either. That's probably for the best. Let's haul ass! Yes! All that matters! No one's here? Could he have been taken by the Night Touched? No. We should be free from them now. That leaves one possibility. That brick sticking out of the wall. The hidden passage mentioned in the report. <laughs> For someone who nearly pissed his pants at the sight of us, this guy's pretty sly. Claire, are there any exits to the surface nearby? No, none in this section. He's most likely run into a dead end by now. Oi, the brick! The brick! And it's right in front of it! Oh no, left okay. in front of it. Well, that's even less of an excuse. These two are really on top of things. It's clear why they're the best of the best. But that makes it all the more impressive that he's able to hide from them. Who? 
Thomas? Is it Instructor Thomas? Green, something wrong? It's Thomas. <laughs> Wait, is that? <laughs> Guess I should have known you'd bust out your favorite party trick sooner or later. It's Ash, huh? Huh! You? So why'd you actually bother to follow us down here, Ash? Oh dear. <laughs> Ash? Oh? Yeah, I was tailing you guys. Took all I had to stay hidden from you pack of monsters. But I guess I wasn't careful enough. We were so distracted by what was in front of us, we didn't check behind. <laughs> I can see now why Sarah and Tovel have their eyes on you. Well, let's hear it. What'd you follow us all the way here for? Uh, not much. It just looked like you guys were doing something interesting, so I decided to join in. Looks like you're just about done, though. Ash, this is a highly confidential matter. You can't just join in because you feel like it. Although, I can't help but wonder if there is not something extremely important and meaningful about you being here. <laughs> it's fine. I don't mind. And then he pushes it. He waits till Ash gets there to push the button. Exactly. Think of it as a field trip. I'll even go ahead and sign his permission slip for you. Fine, just stick with the group, okay? I'm sure you were listening, but he's in a panic right now, so we need to be gentle. Yeah, yeah, I got it. I guess I can stay in the back, but let me know when you start to get tired. I'm sure a bunch of old farts like you can't last as long as you used to. I will fling you off a mountain into a lake of fire, you <laughs> snot-nosed little boy. <laughs> Oh, sorry, did that come out a little too strong? <laughs> well, look at the mouth on this little punk. Oh dear, you're right. I'm turning 25 this year. Death is swiftly approaching. Oh, Sharon, I'll miss you when you die of your decrepit old age in a few weeks. <laughs> That's a bit much, wouldn't you say? This little bastard really knows how to get under your skin. I've known a lot of people <laughs> like you, kid. Let's you and me have a talk. <laughs> done. Oh, does he remind you of anyone in particular, Agat? Yeah, Rocco. Yeah! I uh, touched a bit of a nerve, Ash. Nothing wrong with being 25, though. It's working out fine for me. Really? I never would have known. You all look so young. Die <laughs> in a blazing conflagration! <laughs> anyway, we should probably get moving. There should be a dead end just a little farther down the path. <laughs> My god. So I went ahead and substituted Ash in because... It just seemed like he might be relevant. After all, what we did find... After defeating the Dark Dragon, Ash walked over to the Calvardian agents and picked up a Vern pistol and was like, this feels so light in my hand and natural. Mm -hmm. And then, you know, kind of put it in his pocket. And then Muse looked over and said, I feel as though I just missed something extremely important. Well, now we have some blonde kid running around here. What some if? Blonde kid with a similar hairstyle? Uh-huh. What if he's Ash's brother? It's not out of the question. We don't really know anything about Ash, and Ash doesn't know anything about Ash. Which way do we go? Right or left? Uh, left? No. Right. Double no. Left. I'm just guessing, though. <laughs> How about I give you a solid right hook to your face? <laughs> I can't tell if they're actually getting along or not. <laughs> and that's why I want to see their yeah. combo victory. We get the first attack. <laughs> gotcha. It's mine. So you're not a slacker all the time, huh? Hey, whoa, I'm always giving it my all. Way less hostile than expected, right? Look, Billy, it's one of the two chests. Come on, you material. 
Oh, it's a Zeran powder, which is which is not bad. Mine. Zeran powder is really good. <laughs> like I said, I'm just glad that I have it. Well, look at the bright side. There's one more. Ooh, a treasure chest. Cool. Got a top level quartz out of it. I guess I don't feel quite so bad for obsessing over these chests for such a long time. Especially since you don't have to do it anymore. Okay. Here's our dead end, and there he is. Uh, I told you to stay back! Ah! Please calm down! We're with the Brazier Guild. We're not here on behalf of the government. And about your buddies. We're in talks behind the scenes with the CID right now. We're trying to help you. We don't want things to get worse. Don't you think you should head home now? Keep your family from worrying about you? Huh. If, if you're not with the Empire, then where? Well, two of us are here from Liberal. I'm from Lehman, though I was born in Remiferia. I know the sight of me has been hearts <laughs> racing, but we're here to help, so do try to be calm. Keep talking like that and you're bound to scare him off again. I'm so scared. I only went on this operation to avenge my dad. Oh no! I was just trying to get some info, but then that evil spirit... No! Spirit reaction increasing. I just can't. No, I. What the? A magic knight, Azura Luciel. A, a magic knight? Is there enough mana to call something like that now? I've never seen one like this before. It's a weapon of war created by the mages hundreds of years ago. If we don't do something, the agent will. Don't worry. We're gonna kick this thing's ass up and down the underground. No shit, old man. It's coming. Activate your combat links. Sally forth, everyone. Look out. That one's strong. <laughs> Resonate. Divine song formation. <laughs> Yes, keep dropping Lecter's hit points down. <laughs> this, however, will not be a benefit to you. You know we're taking the battle seriously when we're busy deciding which food item to use. For some reason, Tita's main master quartz that you can't change is Mebius, so... Hey, hey good stuff. Stuff. that? Okay, already, let's go. <laughs> How about a little fire? Now, hate this! Here's dessert! That's what you get for being careless. I don't know what it did, but it's probably something. Yeah! <laughs> it's mine! Give them hell! Crimson break! <laughs> Ooh, I'm going! What do you mean, arts down? It's okay. Olivier dodged it. Literally, no one Here else matters. <laughs> He's got a pretty hefty break gauge on him. That he does. Oh, then again, nobody else can equip break free. How about a little fire? As they face their end approaching on the horizon. Charge up! <laughs> Thank so, you. Do you think he's going to enhance? <laughs> so, I got now, this. hold on. That wasn't an enhancement. He does not have the enhanced thing. All magic knights have a healing self buff like this. That's true. You're right. Of course, Albion Wolf will turn off his buff. That it will, and Breaking it will also turn it off. Here's dessert! I don't think we're going to be able to take him down before he recovers, and he'll probably enhance after that. How about some damage plus 40% then? Get him! Blast Force! Works for me! Fire! <laughs> now, eat this! Yeah! It's mine! Here I come! I like to just drive across the field. Ah! She chance. just did 25,000 damage! Gee! Leave it to me. But just like you said, we're not going to be able to take it out before it's uh, all done. Yep. Unleash sacred horse! 
Let's see if it cancels the buffs. It, oh, crud, it's gonna get a heal. Yeah, you better do something about that. You heal enough on your own, buddy. You don't get a 10% heal on top of that. Yep, you got the buff. I shall prepare a glittering stage. Huh? Gather above me, great Septian power! And erupt a Kashyyyk star! <laughs> Did you enjoy the show? Very much! Boom! And, and it's already almost broken again! And it, it's healing again! I got this! And powering up again! <laughs> Yeah, but it's almost broken again. Now, dessert! <laughs> That's what you get for being careless. <laughs> Woo! Gleam! Southern Cross! Fire! I'm gonna get you! I'll be darned! Yeah! This guy's stubborn, huh? It's down! Well, good! I'll it's see about to this time. Time. Well, part of it I is this. the janky setup that everybody's currently got. Hate this! Here's dessert! Dang. That's what you get for being careless. Not quite enough. Yeah! Actually, he will have it's enough mine. if I can do something weird, but I bet I can't, yeah. Why not? Okay. Oh my god, will you seriously go down, please? <laughs> Bird! Fool's red! Yep, yep. There he goes again. I don't know what he's about to do. But I'm concerned. Get him! Blast force! Okay, I think you got it. How this. about a little fire? It's down! It's mine! May you rest in peace! It's gonna be tight! Fire! Yes! Nope, can't do it. Uh. Wait, did you did you impede it? There's a very small chance of impede on one of like from Tita's. <laughs> cool. I would have survived in any case, but well, sucks to be him. How about a little fire? My turn. Okay, seriously. No, you're gonna get. <laughs> Surely, if you ask crap <laughs> him, he'll go down. Get out of here. <laughs> Let's dance. <laughs> I ain't done with you yet! Yeah! It's not that the guy was tough, he was just stubborn! Helio Raid! <laughs> Sweet dreams. My god! Yes! He it's... survived! <laughs> there! <laughs> How insulting. Well, hat tip to the dude. He did fine. <laughs> did you like that? Okay, now calm down, kid. Good, he's passed out. Now, what's that about? Panic? Somehow making him generate Pleroma grass? Somehow this panic is reaching into it. I bet the Ramda is limited. It's linked to the Ramda, like you said. Well, maybe. Uh, alternately, uh, you do get a supernatural link from going through trauma, but it's never manifested like this. I guess it's not entirely unconnected to the cult, though, or what we found out during the cult. Hmm. Whew. We did it. Somehow. Sheesh, I didn't think we'd have to fight something that crazy after clearing this place out yesterday. <laughs> Me neither. Is he... Nah, he just passed out. Guess he's been running around without any sleep since yesterday. What a relief. I think it's safe to say we're past the worst, no? Hmm. Hey, you guys okay down there? Oh, it's you three. You just missed all the action. I don't know, Patrick's been screaming Southern Cross, Southern Cross, Gleam Southern Cross like this whole time. Damn, 
Guess us being on standby was a waste of time. It might not have been. Wait, Ash? What the heck are you doing here? It's all good. Don't even worry about it. From the look of things, it was quite the fight. But I take it everything's fine now? Yeah. I'd appreciate it if you and the guild could handle getting him back home. Just leave it to me. And the guild, of course. I'm sure the RMP will be able to provide some correspondence support, too. Got it. We'll get the ball rolling, then you guys can take care of the rest. It is interesting that Lecter is going to allow him to be handed over to the Bracers, but it's just the easiest thing for everybody. Especially if this is supposed to be off the record? Yeah. Sounds like everything's nice and wrapped up, then. I'm so glad it turned out well. <laughs> Excellent work, everyone. When the young agent woke up, he was calm, as though whatever had been haunting him had vanished. Patrick and the members of the Bracer Guild took him to be deported to Calvert. Randy, Tio, Tita, Sharon, and Prince Oliver bade their farewells to the rest of the group and returned to the city. Okay, so what was the point of that then? Yeah, I don't know. I appreciate a chance to use all these characters, but the only thing we got out of it is learning some new way that Pleroma Grass works. That seems kind of... Hmm. Hmm. Yeah, no worries, man. Now get out of here before things get worse. Sheesh, wonder what was up with that kid. Whatever it was, I'm glad we were able to help. Without you, who can say what would have happened to him? I get the feeling he understood that too. Eh, I was just taking care of something before it turned into a real hassle. I mean, what other reason would I have for helping that kid out? When you talk like that, Lecter, when you talk like that... How about atonement? Ash. Uh, or maybe pity? You remind you of your old self? Um... Uh... Surprisingly, that actually hit Lecter kinda hard. I'm surprised Ash knows anything about his old self. Hey, Carbide, you wanna come work for us after you graduate? be a shame for the Bracers to snatch up someone like you. Keep dreaming. I'm not joining up with you or them. But back to you. This mean you admit it? Well done, Ash. Well... Hey, hold on a second. Uh, should <laughs> I be here for this? This seems like a bit of a touchy subject. Long as you're Erebonian, this is your business too. But feel free to head back if you want. No, it's fine. It's just like you thought. My dad was the head of the 13th Armored Division. A Brigadier General, part of the group of nobles that planned the atrocity that struck Hamel. Hmm. I mean, he didn't do it, but still. Right. Like the discussion from earlier. <laughs> <laughs> you admit it! You finally admit it! Wait just a second. He was one of the nobles who had Jaegers attack Hamel and used it as an excuse to start the Hundred Days War? The same nobles who were given capital punishment by Chancellor Osborne? General Craig tell you? Yeah, that's right. My dad was a coward who put on a show of being competent for the Imperial Army. He was a fool and he deserved what he got. Give me more details. You've been stringing me along this whole time, and I'm sick of it. What Ash says is true. <sighs> it really isn't all that interesting. Uh, from what we've been able to gather, he was there in Hamel when it happened. Yeah, whoever the heck Ash Carbide is, which we still don't know, he's got some connection to Calvert, but it also seems like he was a kid and... In Hamels, and that's so. that's how Lecter kind of lured him in to this whole machinations anyway. Like, I know what went on! But fine. It's all ancient history anyway, as far as I'm concerned. My family was one of the noble houses of La Mer. But we didn't own any land or have fancy titles or anything like that. We were more of a knight-class family. Otherwise, Lecter would be a noble, which he has never appeared to be. He wasn't called an Erebonian noble when he was studying in Genis, for instance. Yeah. 
In other words, the bottom of the barrel when it comes to nobility. We live like your typical common family. To the point where growing up, nearly all my friends were commoners too. We barely knew any other nobles. I always felt bad for my dad. He was part of the shrinking noble faction in the army, always worrying about what the big time nobles thought. He was a coward, and my mom ended up leaving him, but I wouldn't say he was a bad person. He was just pathetic, but he was also my only family. Huh. So I suppose his mom left Lecter, too. When I was 11, he told me we wouldn't be able to see each other for a while. If I can pull this off, we'll finally have some land of our own. My god, Lecter, it is not your fault. This isn't your fault. As he said that to me, all I could see were hope, worry, and guilt written all over his face. A few days later, the borough's borders were crossed, the imperial and provincial armies invaded, and the Hundred Days War began. At the head of the charge was the 13th Armored Division, led by my dad. Is this the get to know the backstory of the Iron Bloods game? I guess it is! Even if you don't count Milliam, we've gotten the full backstory on Claire, Rufus, on Rufus, and now Lecter. When I found out about all this, I had a bad feeling that wouldn't go away. It wasn't just about what had happened, either. I sort of felt like I knew what was going to happen, too. Just three months later, my dad and his troops were utterly defeated by Liberal's counterattack. In response, the Imperial Army planned to get serious and bring in a huge swarm of troops, but then the ceasefire happened. And like the name implies, the war ended after about a hundred days. What awaited the noble faction leaders, like my dad, was the ending they had coming. Yeah. They did have it coming. A top secret military trial. The charges were the massacre of Hamel via Jaegers and the ensuing cover up. The Emperor gave Chancellor Osborne full authority over the investigation. The old man arranged a secret meeting with Liberal's Queen. Whatever it was that Osborne did after this, you know, after his reappearance, after a three month blank, fact is, because of this nonsense, it's like it created Osborne. That's that's where his wife was killed. Yeah. Because of this, because of Lecter's father. Between the ceasefire and the mastermind's punishment, Osborne just made the whole thing disappear. Hamill's name was wiped off the map, and the only truth left was that a landslide had happened. From the start, I had this feeling that there was no avoiding things turning out like they did. No avoiding things turning oh! out like they did. You just had this feeling, something like a really, really strong deja vu. Uh-huh. His intuition just happens to be right, like there's no avoiding things turning out that way. Okay, okay. Might you use the word foresight <laughs> to describe this? Why, Damon, to what might you be referring? Huh, how fascinating. The invasion's failure, my dad's execution, and the high up nobles trying to get rid of his son, the one remaining loose end. But I didn't try to do anything. I just let it all happen. You were a little kid. I see, that's why he feels guilt. It was then that old man Gilead showed up. As he listened to me talk, he looked strangely intrigued. Then he handed me a letter. It was from my dad. He wrote it right before he was executed. It was his last message to me. He wrote about how he regretted what he'd done, the reason he did it, his apology to me. And he ended it by telling me to keep living and don't give up. Boring, cliche words. Well, at least he had those words for you. How much worse would it have been if he didn't? Alternately, how much better would it have been if he didn't? But the old man, he reached his hand out to me, and with that arrogant tone of his, he said, 
It's still too early for you to lose hope in this world. Perhaps your purpose in this life will be to avenge your father. Perhaps it will be something else entirely. Perhaps your purpose in this life, perhaps it will be something else entirely. Doesn't that also kind of seem to... Or maybe I'm just reading too much into it. Doesn't it kind of seem to be the kind of language one uses when dealing with like a time loop or foreknowledge and that sort of thing? I don't know. Maybe, maybe not. The thing that's, that stands out to me, perhaps your purpose will be to avenge your father. What he's done with all the Iron Bloods, again, Milliam is a special case, is give them a reason to hate him. He absolutely <clears throat> forced Claire into doing horrible things, and it was entirely his fault. He could have solved it. He knew yeah, the answers. Okay. But he waited for her, for her to do it, and, and he made her get her family executed. That's enough of a reason to resent him. With Rufus, he never told Rufus to stop trying to have him assassinated. <laughs> And with Lecter, he said, you know, I, I'm the person who killed your father. You could do something about that if you're interested. And that's something that they all seem to have in common. Like he, maybe farming resentment towards him isn't quite correct, mm -hmm. but it's not not there. Come with me and discover what that purpose may be. So that's how it happened. How you became one of the Iron Bloods. Yeah, I was invited before Rufus or Claire joined. I just feel like it's more. There's more to Lecter than this. Oh, easily. There has to be. But in the beginning, I just helped out around the Intelligence Division's office. It had just been established back then. It was only after I got back from studying in the borough that I became a full fledged member of the team. Hmm. <laughs> Even if you didn't dirty your hands yourself, you're still the son of the bastard responsible for Hama. Uh, what else is he supposed to do? What, what else could he do? Like I told you, what my dad said gave me a bad feeling, and things turned out exactly like I feared. Maybe that was my gift, like what Claire's got. Maybe there was a way I could have used it to stop him. So in that sense, I'm just as guilty. Hmm. Of course, forgiving oneself is never that easy. <sighs> like, part of the reason Ash is angry is that Lecter isn't denying it. He's not trying to say, I didn't have anything to do with this. He's making it hard for Ash to stay angry at him. Yeah. Exactly. Because Ash can understand, like, just accept it so I can hate you. Lecter and Ash. I don't know what's going on entirely, but... It's fine, Schwarzer. He's just looking for the truth. And it's my duty to give it to him. So, what are you gonna do now? This is what you followed us all the way down here to learn, right? Ah. Uh. Huh. Well, I've got your story now. But... I haven't decided what to do next. Hmm? I'll think this over at my own pace. I'm not gonna let you goad me into anything. Oh, one last thing. Was studying abroad in Liberal your way of making up for what your old man did? Uh, yes, it was. Aha. Uh -huh. How's that for a little fire, Scarecrow? Ha! <laughs> <laughs> Later. You should get back too, Schwarzer. Right. Tonight's the party, after all. You should stop wasting time here. Go back up and have some fun with everybody. <laughs> You're one to talk. <laughs> Man, he got me good. He surprises me sometimes, too. Is he maybe... Whoa there, no comment from me on that, I'm afraid. <laughs> I'm sure you'll have a chance to hear it straight from the horse's mouth before long, though. Why do you say that? Huh, yeah. If I recall correctly, there should only be two survivors of Hamel. But is it possible a third child could have escaped the massacre and... By the way, Schwarzer. Of course, that is the case. Yeah. Nothing makes sense otherwise. If General Craig told you what he knows, then... I'd understand if you wanted revenge, too. 
man, I understand your guilt. You, that, if anything, <laughs> if anybody can understand the way that Lecter is thinking about this, it's Reem. Yeah. So, yeah, he's not worried about it. I mean, North Ambria, Crossbell. Right. It, Lecter's feelings towards his past are the same as Reem's feelings towards what he's done, so, yeah. Osborne's home near Heimdall was raided by what were assumed to be Jaegers. Next morning, all that was found was a burned down building, dead Jaegers thrown about, and the body of Osborne's wife. Osborne himself and his five year old son were nowhere to be found, but there was evidence the child was grievously wounded. Well, there's not really anything I can say on the matter. I don't remember a thing, and I haven't been able to ask about it either. Frankly, the party's his probably only chance. I don't understand why it's his only chance, but I get it. It just seems to me that he could probably talk to him whenever he wanted at least one time. That needs to happen first, but I'm guessing it'll turn out just like it did for Ash. I see. Well, good luck. The old man's a tough nut to crack. <laughs> I haven't even had a chance to talk to him lately. Hmm. Well, it's fine. I've decided to face the truth, no matter what it ends up being. <laughs> That's the spirit. You were a big help today. Thanks a bunch, Rain. Yeah. Of course. Thanks for calling me. <laughs> sure thing. Well, have fun with all your buddies until the party. Oh, by the way, I figured I should pass this little bit of info along to you. Is this what Reen's here for? I heard some chatter earlier. Seems like something that fits the description of a cryptid appeared off the West Ostia Highway earlier. What? As in, some more Playroma grass appeared for some reason, but it could just be residue. Could just be the residue. My suspicions have increased again. <laughs> the fourth armored division's already been notified, so you don't need to worry. But if the summer festival isn't exciting enough for you, you can always take your pals down there and show the soldiers how it's done. Anyway, think I'll mosey off now. Into the sunset, as it were. I can never read that guy. Again, there has to be more to Lecter than this. A cryptid, huh? It should be okay to leave it to the army, but it's a little worrying. I could get some extra AP right before the end. <laughs> yeah, we can decide on that later. For now, I think I'll continue my patrol of Heimdall. Uh, we still had, as a required thing to advance the story, spend your tickets. But we did spend them all. Unless Lecter's gonna give us more. I hate you! Well-timed, well-timed. <laughs> it's almost like I knew it was coming, but couldn't do anything about it. The ending of the story that you failed to change, <laughs> Billy? <laughs> oh, that's the four o'clock bell from the cathedral. I should get ready to meet up with Toa. Hello, Reen. Nice work earlier. This is about heading into Valflame Palace, right? You guessed it. What should we do? We have to meet up with Class 1, so I was thinking about calling all the students. Actually, I'll be contacting the main campus. You think you could just get Class 7? They should all head back to camp and spruce up a little, too. Sounds like a plan. I'll see you at camp, then. Okay, see you. Okay, I'll call the kids when I'm ready. There isn't much time beforehand. Is there anything I need to take care of real quick out on the highway? <laughs> well, that's that. Next time, we'll take care of stuff on the highway, which may or may not even make it in. <laughs> and then we'll go on to the party. Sweet! Speaking of sweet, we're the bittersweet gamers. This is the end, Billy. We do that at the beginning. I just wanted to change things up a little bit. <laughs>